As you do see with us, he depend now. As you depend now, oh boy, he do see with us. You know, Your Excellency, the day you came to campaign in River State, you paid us a visit in Goldman House, Port Harcourt. I'm happy. I know that Fayemi Kaede was there, Omahi was there, and some other people, they were there. I did say, I invited one of the presidential candidates to come and commission the Bolu Orowaruko flyover. I invited another presidential candidate to commission Rumoba flyover. But when you came, the campaign was almost over. You had about three more days to round up your campaigns. But I said, I will invite you after the election to come and commission your own projects. To the glory of God, you are coming as a president elect to commission this project. I know that some people may not be happy. Why should it be River State that you are coming to visit first? Who knows? God knows how he does his own thing. God believes that this is the turn of River State to see development from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And you agreed that you will come. I thank God today you have honored our invitation. You have fulfilled the promise you made to us that you are coming to commission this project. This project was awarded with the 11th flyover the same day of the, uh, the two flyovers. As I speak to you, the two flyovers have been completed within eight months period. Eight months period. And I want to say clearly, Jonas Vega is here. I will owe you on these flyovers. I will owe you. Yes, I was a bit telling you the story. I found out that part of the problem why we are having so much uncompleted project has to do with a procurement law. If you read the procurement law, it will take it very, very long to complete projects because how much does a procurement law, of course, the one of the federal, how much does it say? 15% to 30%. When you give a contract of 15%, before you pay another money, Inflation is almost every day. And then they will come for variation because of high cost of building uh, material. But in our own case, I called Mr. Speaker. I said, listen, we can't continue with this. We have to amend our own procurement law and give us the latitude where we can pay a company we know that has the capacity to deliver within time. We pay that company 70%. And that is why today no project being handled by, by Jonas Beggar that is uncompleted. Not one. Recently, we are dualizing Ahuda to Omok to Eboma with our boundary with Imbo State. Jonas Beggar is doing that work. We are also dualizing to Degema Junction. Also, Jonas Beggar. How much did they charge us? about 80 billion and i said what are we going to do we have to fall back to igr every month jonas beggar take your four billion naira finish this road in 18 months time so jonas beggar is not coming to write us to fall for this certificate or general certificate that is why we have never failed in completing our projects And unfortunately, too, these projects ought to be federal government projects because they are federal roads. Federal roads. 
the Rumo Kursi is in East West Road. The one of Rumoba is in Portagot Aba Road. The one in Rumoba is in Portagot Aba Road. The one in Jiarui is in Portagot Aba Road. The one in uh, Rumokarabo, Portagot Aba Road. The one in Rebisi, Portagot Aba Road. The one in Obunabali, Portagot Aba Road. The one in Mboba, the same thing. The one in Rumokoro, East West Road. Now, if we have said because they are federal government roads, and we don't do it, who are those to suffer? Is it not we? Is it not the vast people? So, since we have said, look, we don't want our people to suffer. I also believe federal government should say, look, you've done well for us. This is our project we should be doing. Can you bring your deal? Let us refund you the money you have done this road. That is what, listen, that is what is supposed to be with a partnership with a good federal government. Yes, partnership. We don't have the money to do it now because of so much in our hands. State can use it. We don't want the we don't want people to get angry with government. Can you help us and see how you can put this road in use? Yes, we can do that. Go ahead and do it. We will refund you. That is the way it's supposed to be. I can assure you, as we enter office and you approve to pay this money back, other states will have the courage to also do the same thing. I'm not asking what we are not entitled. Right? Look, look. Federal government should say, you are a true son of this government. You have removed shame from us. You have made people not abuse us. People here would have been abusing. We are the federal government. They would have been abusing. They would have not have voted for you. But because we came and said, look, let's cover you so that people will not abuse you. And having covered you, I thought you should say, let me pay you back. Is it not true? Not be so. Yes, I'm sure my younger brother, Shei Magende, who has been re-elected, will also copy from there. And now that he has hope, they will pay back when you do. He will continue what he's doing now, and they will pay him back. Sir, that is one good thing. My successor, the day as his entering office in May 29, the letter has been prepared for him. He will sign that day and forward to you since you are also being sworn in on May 29. So that is the first requ uh, request we are making. Abraham Mecca! Abraham Mecca! He must say, Abraham Mecca! Abraham Mecca! We are not going to talk politics here today. What we came for? Is commissioning of a project. We have a state banquet. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going to get Abla. Abla. Your Excellency, you don't understand this one. But if you ask uh, uh, Fire Me Kayode, he will tell you because he was very much here in 2015, 2013, 2014. So he will tell you what I said, but I'm going to get I'm back out. So, I thank you so much. And like I said, sir, I'm happy that my people are happy. And they're happy. And they're happy. One more second, no, no. Your Excellency, I am proud. I'm going home fulfilled. I'm proud that my wife is proud that I did not disappoint her. I'm proud. Because my leader, my mentor, the man who God used to bless all of us who are touring politicians today, Sir Dr. Peter Lee, I'm sure he's happy that his son did not embarrass him. I'm sure all our political leaders who are here, traditional leaders, you are happy we did not embarrass you. On this note, let me invite Mr. President elect to talk to us and commission the project. Thank you and God bless you.